In today's video, we are going to cover the user instructions for the AccuVox Smart Plus app. When your account is created, you'll receive an email from AccuVox with your username and password, as well as a QR code. You can log in with either method using the AccuVox Smart Plus app. Once you are logged in, you will have access to all of your devices. You can choose to monitor your devices, capture image screenshots, and open the door. If you wish to talk through the device, select Call. Here, you have the ability to talk, check the video feed, and open the door. To view all activity history, select Activities. Here, you can view door logs, call history, image screenshot captures, and motion logs with timestamps for each. On the Authorization tab, you can assign temporary QR codes, set a specific door release bin code, enable NFC unlock, which will allow your phone to be used as a keycard for the door, utilize Bluetooth unlock, register your face as a key for facial recognition, and register specific RF key fobs. If you are a family master, you can add any additional family members. New family members will receive a similar register email from AccuVox, as stated previously. To choose the main telecommunication contact method, head over to the Settings tab and select Call Settings. Here, you have the option to communicate through the Smart Plus app or your landline number as a backup method. You can edit your unique phone number by selecting the Landline tab. In the Notification Settings tab, you have the ability to silence notifications by selecting Do Not Disturb and adjusting a specific time schedule. If you have any questions about the AccuVox Smart Plus app, please contact us at globalvisionsinc.com.